we are gonna have a lot of fun today. Two different tactical whips. This was the original and extra large tactical whip. You can see that, I mean, you can see the thickness. Oh, that's embarrassing. Then you're just gonna. All right, we, we are gonna have a lot of fun today. We are going to be comparing two different tactical whips. I'm sure you guys probably, just about everybody has seen the original video that I made with this Stinger tactical whip. This was the original, and then just a few days ago, I was made aware that they have come out with an extra large tactical whip. So basically the same thing, just bigger and heavier for more destruction. The differences here, you can see the handle is obviously just a little bit bigger on the extra large one. You can also see that the handle is thicker on the extra large one. The extra large one also has a built-in seat belt cutter where the original one did not. They both have glass breakers that look identical, but the biggest difference is the cable. This original one has a 5 16 cable, and then this extra large one has, it's listed on the website as 10 millimeter, which I can't remember if 10 millimeter is just a little bit smaller than 3 8 or just a little bit bigger than 3 8 So basically 3 8 which is, you can see that, I mean, you can see the thickness, definitely significantly thicker. So we are gonna have so much fun with this, and we're gonna smash all types of different things and compare the two. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. I'm sure most of you guys are carrying, carrying around wallets that look like this. They're old, they're outdated, they're big, they're bulky, they're prone to collecting things like receipts and just stuff that you don't need. So take this wallet, throw it away. That's where the Ridge Wallet comes in. This wallet is small, it's sleek, it's durable, and it has everything you need in a wallet. It holds 12 credit cards plus cash. The credit cards also slide in and out Super easy. It comes in over 30 different styles. It has over 30,000 five-star reviews. It also has a lifetime warranty. So you can buy this one wallet, and if anything happens to it, you can get a replacement. So you can have this one wallet, carry it for life. You can also buy this wallet and test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it after 45 days, you can get a full refund. And if you use the link in my description, which is ridge.com forward slash tylertube, and you use code TylerTube at checkout, you get 10% off. So let's start testing these whips. So let's go ahead and get one of the basics out of the way. We're gonna try out the seat belt cutter with, of course, a seat belt, which has been on the floor, so it's kind of dirty. Maybe let's do this. Maybe I'll step on this end. That way we can get some tension. There we go. Come on, man. Seatbelt cutter is not that great. This is, I don't think, I mean, there's no, only one way to use it. I don't think I'm using it wrong. Really? Let's just try to go straight across. Wow. I mean, it's a razor blade. You'd think it'd be. Try to go this way, maybe. I mean, it rips it. This seatbelt cutter, this sucks. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Okay, so the seatbelt cutter, that is atrocious. I don't even think that they even tested that before they put it on there. Unless I'm just using it completely wrong, which, I mean, I was just trying to cut a seatbelt. Now for our second test, we're going to compare them against ballistics gel. Now in the first video, I in the beginning, I thought that maybe if I would have caught the ballistics gel with the tip or something, that it might like, like slice open the gel or leave like a little opening or something. 
never happened, even though I did it as absolutely hard as I could. I highly doubt that that would happen with this one. So we're not really looking for cuts. I just kind of am curious to see the impact difference because you'll definitely should be able to hear a difference in the impact between the two. And this one should be much louder where this one weighs so much more. Let's go with the original one first. Give it a couple good, good whacks. Really not that much. I mean, pretty, pretty decent. I'm trying to get one of the tip. Well, you can also kind of see the lines as a reference. So we're gonna go right here for the, for the extra large version. <laughs> that sounded, that's, that's way more. Oh, that's even, I don't think you can see it at the camera. That's, I'm, whenever I hit it, I'm hitting it and then the middle of the cable is hitting the table and it's breaking the table. It's also kind of moving it. They actually don't look all that much different. I mean, I can feel how much heavier this is, and I know that this one would hurt more, but if you just look at the gel, they really don't look that much different, which is kind of surprising. So I guess we're gonna have to move on to something a little bit more reactive. All right, our first test subjects are gonna be these coconuts. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save the big coconut for the big whip, and we'll do small coconut for the small whip. I don't know if this even has enough weight to even crack open a coconut. I would assume it does. Try to hit it with the tip. Okay, I guess I gotta go harder. Maybe let's go this way. Really? Nothing. I think I missed. Oh, we got a piece of the husk or whatever. It's still not as much damage as I would have thought. Oh, that time we got it. All right, so we broke it open. So that took, I don't know what that was, like four or five, six strikes maybe to get it open. I think the bigger one's gonna do way better than that. I think one or two is probably gonna be all it takes to break this coconut open. Really? These coconuts, these things are tough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to break this one open. I don't think I'm gonna be able to break it open. Oh, the plastic liner is starting to slide off of the cable. Come on, man. Well, same thing as last time. We got like the, the husk. Oh, that time we just got like the rest of the hut. Ooh, there we go. That was, that was surprisingly hard. And I think, I think that was probably pretty much even. Let's move on to something else. All right, next we're coming back to the watermelon. I think we pretty much all know what happened to the watermelon last time, but this time I really want to see if the heavier whip will have enough weight to be able to slice all the way through the watermelon like I wanted this one to do, but it just didn't have enough weight. I'm also going to try again with this one, just <laughs> really just because I like smashing watermelons, let's be honest. All right, maybe maybe if I go like a like all the way around, I'll be able to get, get more speed. Really? It must have just slipped off the top. That actually came back and like hit me in the arm. This is one tough watermelon. There's no chance. Jeez.
Jeez. This, I don't know what kind of watermelon this is. This is way tougher than the watermelons I had whenever I first tested this thing. So that's just a reference of what the original one does. Now, after all that, I'm kind of concerned about this one. Let's see what this one can do. Oh, this is so much heavier. I think this is gonna do way more damage. Oh yeah, way more damage. So you can see it's already split up the side here. So just think if this was a person, how much more damage this would do. Man, and well, it kind of busted open whenever it hit the ground. But we can keep going. Jeez. Ah, that's coming back and hit me in the arm. <laughs> this one does way more damage. It's safe to say you can see how much more damage this thing's gonna do all right I don't think that there's gonna be a difference between these we're gonna hit some pop cans I don't think there's gonna be a difference but we don't really have anything to lose because after all we're just smashing things for fun so let's go with the original first oh that's embarrassing Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. You can see that it looks like what happened. The whip hit it here, and then the presser, pressure just blew, the, blew it out there. So we'll keep that in mind, and we'll put this one here, and we'll see if there's any difference. Let's try not to miss this time. That got in my ear. I can feel the carbonation in my ear bubbling. Ugh. Okay, so I think that this actually tells us more than anything else has so far. So, like, like I showed before, this is the one from the original whip. You can see the whip hit it here, and then it blew out on this side. And then this is from the extra large whip. I'm assuming that it probably came in here and then just like completely exploded the can so, between these two cans, you can definitely see how much more force this, this hits with because of the extra weight. I think this does actually does a way better job of demonstrating the power more than the watermelon. So, that's actually pretty crazy. I didn't think that it would... I thought that maybe it would be just like an exaggerated version of this maybe, but I didn't, I didn't expect this. This is kind of crazy. So, you can see how much harder the extra large one hits. Alright, now, I don't know if these are powerful enough or they have enough force to bust open a two liter. Well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to kind of perform the same experiment that this was, see if we can tell a difference in the, the impact. I don't know that this one, this original one is gonna have enough force. I don't even know that this one's gonna have enough force. So <laughs> I really hope, I really hope I don't regret this because I have a feeling that this, this is just gonna explode everywhere. This is gonna suck so bad. All right. Three, two. Oh, ah, it hit me back in the arm. It busted it. Let's see if we can. Oh, it hit me in the arm again. So it definitely busted it, not the way I wanted it to. What am I supposed to do with this? All right, let's just let's just go ahead and open it so it's not making any noise. There we go. There we go. Now we'll throw it over there. All right, let's see if this one does any different. I have a feeling it probably will. Um, I'm going to try to hit it with just the tip. 
So that way he doesn't come back and hit me in the arm. Ow! That sucked. Whenever I hit that, the, the, the momentum of it tried to pull it out of my hand. And this pocket clip right here, like, was right here and just kind of like pulled against my hand. That hurt. But it's not exploded. I'm going to take that pocket clip off because that sucked. I don't think that the end is sharp enough to pierce it because the, the end of the original one was just barely sharp enough to pierce the plastic. Oh, there's so much pressure in that. Let's go again. Maybe get like a run. Oh, that hit me in the arm again. Okay, same as last time. It's spewing out of the top. I'm gonna get something better to hit it with. All right, so before we lose all the pressure, let's hit it with this war club from the last video. <laughs> that went everywhere. Well, there it is. All busted open. Ooh. The extra large one, I just don't think it was small enough to pierce the plastic. Well, it kind of, it busted the cap. It kind of sprayed out a little bit. But neither one of them really, they just don't have enough weight to really like hurt a two liter. But the Warp Club definitely does. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't expect that to spray the entire garage. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, just like last time, you guys know that I'm not gonna leave you without showing you some good self-defense moves. But before that, if you like gaming, I started a gaming channel, TylerTube Gaming. The link will be in the description, so go check that out. In the last video, we pretty much went over just about everything. I mean, we stuck it under his arm, ripped his arm off, slammed him down. We used it like a noose and put it around his neck and slammed him down. We hit him between the legs. We did all kinds of stuff, but what we didn't do is this new move that I just came up with the other day. This one is, this is revolutionary. Nobody will ever see this coming whatsoever. I promise you it will take down anybody that you need. And, but the only downside is you're gonna need two whips. This will take anybody down. No one's ever seen this before, guaranteed. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put these like in your back pockets, put them on your belt, Something like that. He's, he's causing problems. He's gonna start like trying to fight you or something like that, right? And you're gonna start to walk away. And you're gonna keep walking away. And you're gonna walk away. You're gonna do this move that I like to call the helicopter. So you're gonna keep walking away. You're gonna walk away. Then you're just gonna. And just like that, he's taken care of. I hit him so hard, my watch flew off. So obviously you can see the power in that move. I mean, I hit him so hard that it flew my, that it made my watch fly off. And also there is no, there's no need to go any further. Once you perform that move, whoever you performed it on, they are dead. They are no longer a threat. You don't have to run up and stab them or hit them some more or anything. They are completely incapacitated. So that is all I have for you today. Hopefully you learned something. You at least learned a new self-defense move. Hopefully you never have to perform it. But if you do, now you know how. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.